Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. Last week we created our Crescent Moon Pond and this week we will be extending that area even more with a double neighborhood. I see Diana wanting to make her way into the intro. She knew exactly who she was at an early age and I love that for her. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the video. I usually start with showing you guys how the area looks before I start decorating just to show you guys the type of area that I'm going to be working with but somehow I lost a clip so in the end you'll see kind of how large this area is but we're going to start terraforming just a little bit I will be creating a double neighborhood and this will be for Audi and June this side is going to be for Audi and the other side is going to be for June I wanted to kind of make the houses look like it's floating or on its own little island but I wasn't sure where I will end the little river so instead of just making it look like the whole house is floating I partially made a little river alongside the house. I was originally going to decorate the beach but I didn't realize how big of a space I would be decorating so I'm just going to decorate it in another video. For the beach I'm definitely going to do what I originally had in mind which was to create like a DJ KK slider beach party from the DLC but we'll see if I even continue that idea because sometimes I have an idea in mind and then I end up doing Doing something completely different than what I originally had in mind but stay tuned for a future video on that. For their yards my main concern was to connect all of the surrounding areas to this area which in my opinion is probably one of the hardest things to do. Behind this area is the crescent moon pond and to the left of this area is where my resident services is so to come up with an idea to kind of combine everything together took me some time. I thought the best idea was to create a double neighborhood here just to kind of fill up the space and my whole thought process of decorating was to try to combine both fairy core and tropical core into this and definitely relying heavily on custom designs because with areas like this where you have such a large open space filling it up with trees and flowers sometimes just don't cut it so using the different custom designs is what really is going to help you in these scenarios also if you're wondering the codes to these designs that I'm using will be listed in the description below and I know that I say this in every single video that I will be creating a separate video with all of the design codes and I haven't done it yet but I have been playing around with a lot of the custom designs and I think I finally have everything so I'll be working on that soon and I'll also include all of the design codes that I've used in the past that I've deleted just in case for the people that really want it. So I'm just going to continue to lay down all of the custom designs. I also found this beautiful kind of like white daisy path. I didn't download all of the pieces I was just testing it out for this build and I actually really like it underneath June's house so I might go back and start adjusting some of the houses and adding this to it because it is such a beautiful path and it does give it like a fresh feel to the area and I really like it a lot I'm definitely going to go back and download all of the pieces because I'm thinking of adding this along with the grass path that I'm using for this build for my beaches and the daisy path will give it like a nice little touch. I'm thinking about going back and changing some of my areas around before I do my island tour. The one area that I'm really thinking about changing is the front of my house. I did an under the sea castle build which I'll leave in the time cards on top if you want to see how that turned out. Although I'm in love with the build and I love my castle house, I'm just not that in love with the front of my house like my yard area. At first I loved it so much but the more I kept logging into the game and passing by my house I just started to dislike it so I'm thinking about changing it and adding the pond path there probably doing little ponds with it and creating a nice little beach front so let me know if you want me to create that video showing you guys what I changed it to or if you guys want to see it in the island tour but either way you guys are going to be able to see it so yeah we are almost done with the build and I'm just going to connect the resident services area with this one and then from there I'm going to start connecting this whole area with the area on the right side that will lead you to one part of the crescent moon pond
on and i'll be really honest with you guys i had a difficult time figuring out what i wanted to put here between this cliff and june's house and my first thought was to create kind of like a little mini forest adding a couple of trees obviously some coconut trees to give it the tropical feel and i was adding it and then i was just like eh, i could do a little bit better than what i'm doing so i kept going back to my store to see what i have and if anything pops out to me because that's what i usually do when i have no idea what i want to build and i just started taking things out of my storage and playing around with the items and i didn't like any of it and then i went back to my storage and i saw that i had a couple of garden gnomes and i thought let me take them out and place them here and make them look like they're doing stuff then i saw the mush table and i thought to myself maybe i can place the mush table and surround the mush table with all of the garden gnomes and just make it look like they're talking hanging out doing whatever gnomes do and since they are small i ended up using a couple of random stools to make it look like they're sitting on it and i added a couple of items on top like this cute little mom candle a little book and a cute little mom mug and of course adding the last little buddy here so they can all chit chat and then i'm just going to continue laying the path down until i get to the bridge one of these days kicks was on my island and he was selling these cute little wooden clogs and i thought it looked so cute if i add them here it'll look like someone lost their shoes or something and it's blue with like pink little flowers on it so it matches what i have going on then i'm just going to finish filling up the empty spaces with some more flowers and completing the grass pad here's how the first section of our build looks this is where everything connects together and you have four different directions that you can go through you can either go to the residence services the crescent moon pond the beach or to one of our villager babies here is how june's house looks i love her whole area there's a lot going on but everything somehow comes together so nicely the custom designs are hitting differently and i'm here for it here is how Audie's yard looks. Her yard is so simple, but I love how everything comes together, especially if you watched the last video and put this video together. You can see how the two areas just come together to become one, and it's just so cool to see. And here is how both of the houses look together. I see June is already enjoying her house, working out too. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to join our little ac family i'll probably create another poll after this video where you guys can vote on what you would like to see for the next video we are also super close to finishing this island so i cannot wait to show you guys the whole island and how everything comes together in our island tour which should be coming out next month or in may we'll see how everything goes but have your post notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos i love you all so much Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.